I am in Quebec hoping to explore an ancient crater. A meteorite impact formed this crater lake called Manicuagon Reservoir. Or for us English speaking, this place is also known as the Eye of Quebec. It's literally right on the other side of these trees. During the winter, there's only one easy way in and that's through this research station. Wow. There's the reservoir even. This is, this is epic. Guys, we're so close, but I still need permission in order to cross their land to the reservoir. I emailed them a few weeks ago, but they haven't responded yet. Hello. Hey. Hello. Do you speak English? Uh, a little bit, but my uh, <laughs> cousin is speaking English. Oh, then okay. me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traveling through the area. Okay. And um, was wondering if I could park here and snowshoe out. Snowshoe? Uh, yeah, like, uh... Okay, uh... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you post SMEC, puis il y a des promeneurs à raquettes. Mm-hmm. Yes, no problem. Yeah, then, um, you guys have food here, did I see? Yes, we do. Uh, the lunch is like a lunch box. I've never seen anything like this. I'm not really sure my stomach's ready for it yet. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, if I could reserve. Okay, uh... Why for the man? Okay. Uh, so do you do you want breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner? Yeah, let's do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, the, okay. All three. <laughs> okay, good, good. So stay the man. For tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Right, for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fine. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll be out snowshoeing. Is there a good way to get down? Uh, yeah. Uh, can you? Uh, oh just, uh, yes. Sorry, oh no! Uh, no, I totally understand. <laughs> it's the same at my house. I always take off my shoes. <laughs> If you want, you can uh, park down there. All right, guys, we are going to go snowshoeing. It's getting dark early here, so let's see how much we can see, and we'll explore more tomorrow. Excuse the mess in here right now. I have been camping for a little over two weeks. There we go. Boots. Snowshoeing. So, it's basically this path. It just wanders down here. It's the research station up there. So the gentleman working here said that he hasn't snowshoed down here before. He said it might get a little steep, which I'm guessing is right there. And we can go along basically what's the beach. Ah, oh, I think we got this. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. So that right there is Rien Lesseveur Island. There's a few tinier islands in between, but Green Lassever Island is basically six miles out, which we are not gonna get to. <laughs> they don't know how thick the ice is right now, so we're just gonna be safe. We are on the Manicuagon Reservoir. This is so neat. The wind is all coming through sideways. I don't really know what any of this is, to be honest. It wasn't in any of my research, but basically the station is back over there. So I'm just across the beach and there's like bunk houses and this sign. Um, so I honestly don't really know what any of it means. Cause I don't speak French. This is actually a really good diagram. So here is the Manicuagon Reservoir. Here is where we drove in from. And I think we're somewhere around here right now. And then this is Mount Babel or Mount Babel. Um, basically the peak that's in the middle. Maybe I'll do a cool voiceover if I translate this later. 
Future me here. After the ancient meteor impacted here, this became two crescent-shaped lakes on the sides of the impact crater. But after it was dammed, the water filled in the crater, and now Mount Babel sits on the largest artificial island in the world. Absolutely epic mountains. We got a headwind going back, so I'm gonna start now. Still got some sunlight left, but that way we don't get caught out here at night. We'll do a little more exploring in the morning. Sorry guys, I think the lens is frozen on my camera, but the research station's right there. Got a little hike back. So we're not able to spend the night here. They said it's for clients only. It's basically, they have kind of like a bed and breakfast kind of thing here. We are camping tonight, so um, we have to basically go back onto the highway a little bit and find a good spot to camp for the night. Well guys, it's not much, but that's our campsite for tonight. Just kidding, it's super awesome. Look at those mountains. That's an unbelievable view. Look at that. This is gonna be a good night. As per tradition, we've got to set a bumper brew out. For breakfast, we've got bacon, sausage, and crepes. Looks delicious. Yeah. Did you pass it? Yeah, yeah, I was just spending the night there. Yeah, 350. But. The map really doesn't do justice to the scale of this place. It's absolutely massive, this reservoir. The research station packed us lunch, so let's head on over to these trees and then we can eat behind them where it's not, where it's not so windy. We do have to be careful how far out in the water we go. Since this is a reservoir, the level can change, which means that the ice may not be that solid. And I don't really know enough about this to be certain about anything, so we're not gonna risk it. Some little animal tracks up ahead. I wanted to show you guys, breaking through a little bit. Um, I wanted to show you guys where the level of the water has changed, probably by two feet. So right along here, there's a ridge line where you can see where there was an ice layer and the water went down and then Basically, all the ice out in the lake settled down, but on shore, the ice still stayed up higher. So you can see all the way around here how the water level's lower. Super interesting and super dangerous. See, this is wet right here. Look at that. Probably all of it, yep, yeah, it's cracking. Uh, Oh yeah. Let's actually head up. I just don't feel comfortable being out on the water at all. That's where I was just sinking in. I was actually walking across there, so yeah. There's nobody else around right now too, so if I broke through and need help, like, there'd be no help. Not a good position to be in. All right, let's see what we got for lunch. All right. They gave us a little to-go bag. So, we got some crisps, Big Daddy Biscuit. I don't know quite. Oh, double chocolate. So it's like a chocolate chip cookie. Little chocolate chip cookie. I'm loving where this is going. Apple grape pomegranate raisin, I think that is. Or wait, no, no, no. It's just apple grape. Kind of misread it. It's in French. It's like a burrito. 
I literally have no idea, guys. What do we got in here? Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. Kind of excited to try something new. It'll be fun. All right. Like, look at that thing. That's just crazy. I think it's just kind of like a little sub wrap with some pizza sauce in it. I'm not really sure my stomach's ready for it yet. So I've only got one day here. So what I'm kind of thinking, so I'm kind of thinking that we go over and explore the mountains next. And then we'll swing back to the research station tonight for dinner. There's a trailhead we'll drive over to. There is Mount Babel, right there. The one off in the distance. There's like some close by island there, and then the further one with the snow on top is Mount Babel. From what I understand, the research station is completely off grid. They've got all the solar, and then they use wood to heat. Just smells like a good wood burning stove out here. I love it. Looks like this is like a water heater. There's water tanks and... The research station is called Wapishka, which in Innu translated to French and then translated to English means the mountains are always snowy. Speaking of the mountains are always snowy, I love that snowy mountain up there. All right, let's do this hike. Warmed up in the truck for a couple minutes. I was just kind of cold after the last hike, but now I'm warm and dry. So, not wearing snowshoes right now. It seems like this path is maybe a little more packed. We'll see. I can always turn back and grab them. Just a nice little path through the woods. Got a couple cool little shelters back in here. I guess these are the biviacs. So you could probably put like a tarp or something over the top. Maybe something down the sides. Because, because, I don't really show what because is, but it is an arrow. You know what they say about arrows. You always follow them. All right, this snow is getting deep. I probably should have. It's like coming up to my knees. I probably, sh I probably should have brought my snowshoes actually. There's another sign up here too. I don't even know if I can make it up here. Ah. I just can't raise my feet high enough. I right, made it. So because, I'm wondering if because means outhouse or toilet or something. Let's see if we can peek in. Is it a toilet? I don't know what it is. Oh yeah. Just a good old fashioned outhouse. It's just a good old fashioned because, you know. I'm probably totally butchering the wording. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> so there's the the beer and then occupy. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of. There you go. Tell your buddies that it's. Tell of your buddies that it's occupied. Or just it's free. Nobody's in there, guys. Headed back to Wapishka. Um, I'm pretty worn out and beat. So there's still some time until dinner, but I'm gonna see if we can just sit on the couch and maybe use some Wi-Fi before dinner. Reply to some of your guys' comments. Even if I don't reply, I read all of them. So just keep up, keep the chat going. Wow, I love the glow of the sunset.
I'm pretty sure I heard the word for duck, so this might be some sort of tartar. Ravenous is an understatement of how I'm feeling. Oh, very good. <laughs> they just served me a second course. Beef stroganoff, maybe? No way. They just brought out cheesecakes. This is art. Well, thank you. Have a good week. Gracias. So it turns out she speaks Spanish. <laughs> oh, dude. Look at the stars. Oh, my gosh.